Alright guys, I am back. So, uh, my recording software is like going crazy. It's, uh, it would just randomly start streaming or it would just I'm randomly stop recording. I'm glad it was terrible. Troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. Alright, so I did a couple more missions. Oh, hollow target for sure, right? Let me see. Shooting at or suppressing enemies. Oh, that's only shooting and suppressing. Hmm. Grenades and mines do one additional da more damage. Or deploy a smoke grenade once per mission. It confers, ooh, plus 20 defense to all units, not just allies. Ooh. Also allows you to use a first smoke grenade as your first action and not end your turn. Does that mean you can smoke grenade and then fire? Oh, that sounds really tempting. You can at least smoke grenade and move. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. The one damage sounds pretty good. Maybe later on one damage is not a big deal though. And all your weapons do what? Uh, all your weapons do additional damage to the environment. Ooh. Man. Yeah, so it was crazy. I'd be uh I'd be streaming let's try the smoke grenade out. I'd be uh streaming when I didn't realize I was streaming and people would be talking to me and I'd be like, uh, hello, apparently I'm streaming. <laughs> and then it would just randomly cut out again, so it was, it was just awful. I'm still working on a streaming solution, but I'm using a different software to uh, record everything now. I've also started uh, a Xenonauts playthrough. I have not stopped this playthrough, I'm just playing them on different days or something. <laughs> Alright, panic we decreased. Be in touch, Commander. I don't remember exactly where I was at here. Now, a lot of people think I should just restart, because I had a really unlucky uh, base set up here. Because, like, my uh, my stuff was in bad spots or whatever, and, like, I'm still learning the game, and it's a really hard mod, blah, 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 blah. But I figure the more I play, the more I'll learn, and then I'll be better for the second playthrough. Like, I'm not going to quit unless it looks like I'm doing absolutely terrible. I mean, the game's going to be hard, that's, like, the whole point of it. <laughs> I think we've got some good stuff coming up here. We got uh, beam lasers. Holy crap, is that like our first technology? <laughs> and council reports coming. So I might as well just uh, just scan for activity, I suppose. Oh, and I did a mission with the uh, the shiv, which is like a robot you can bring on your missions, and it is freaking awesome. It does take the spot of two, um, two of your own units, though, so you don't get any experience or anything. The ship doesn't get any experience. Oh, holy crap, I actually finished the research. Laser pistol available, laser rifle, auto laser, laser sh shatter ray, heater, gatling laser, and laser carbine. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's going to show them all of us. Okay, these are just like laser versions of all of our weapons, I guess. The beam laser personal defense weapon may be carried in place of a pistol, providing additional combat power at the cost of some mobility. Okay. Holy crap, okay, we gotta build some of those. Uh, what next? Can't do alien computers. We need some UFO flight computers. Advanced beam lasers? Specialized beam weaponry for some of the troops. Oversized coolant coils and double lensing have shown the potential to greatly increase their firepower. So, this actually looks like being some kind of Gatling laser. I don't know what's up with this. That's a sniper rifle for sure. Hmm. Let's get something that's not slow. I guess they're also. Oh, 10 days for this one. Let's see. Uh, thin Man Autopsy. I probably do want to do autopsies of all the aliens. I believe you get some kind of bonus or at least more info on them. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens <laughs> to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Eyes are complicated. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's build some of these. I don't have a lot of money. Uh, I think 
Wait, before I start building these, I need to figure out my satellites. I believe I was having an issue there with my satellites. Okay, I'm building another uplink, so I can actually host five. One for each uplink, plus one for each adjacent. So it should be five satellites. I do not have that many going on. I do not have much money. I remember I was poor. But laser weapons are pretty freaking important. They've got to be a lot better than what I'm using. Even just having something better is useful. So, I'm assuming this is the shotgun because it has shatter in its name. Makes you think like lasers going everywhere. It just says lightweight laser weapon. Like, why don't they tell me what the frick it's replacing? <laughs> so these cost alloys. They're all alloys. How many alloys do I have? Okay, I only have 40 alloys. So I need to save those damn alloys. That's interesting. All they all cost uh, alloys. All right. Um. Hmm. Auto laser. Ooh. What's interesting? Auto laser and Gatling laser. <laughs> Extended range. Ooh. Heavier than auto laser. It does great damage, but difficult to relocate in a combat situation. I guess that just means your mobility is down. I guess. Or maybe you have to like take a turn to place it down or whatever. I don't know. All right, let's get um. Oh wow, they're so expensive! Holy crap, forty-five dollars for each. Oh, thirty, thirty space bucks for this one. Oh, man, maybe this isn't the shotgun. Maybe it's just one of the laser rifle types. I might have to look that up before I get it. Um, okay, let's. The Gatling laser sounds really good. It's the most expensive, of course. Really? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we'll build one Gatling laser. That's all I can afford. Oh, man. I need to have laser weapons, though. I could do two laser rifles. Maybe that'd be a, a smarter thing to do. Yeah, we'll do. Ah, oh, shoot. See, laser rifle, like, my guys aren't really using rifles. Only the, the rookies are really using them. Except when I forget to equip the shotguns. Okay, I just built one Gatling laser, because I know that's going to be good. Oh, so expensive, man. That one I think I could actually assign engineers to. Alright, uh, so yeah, back to just looking for stuff. Man, that's gonna take a long time, too. One Gatling laser, 14 frickin' days. Unbelievable. I shouldn't have bothered. I should just build a satellite. I need money bad. Excavation complete. Wow, days are actually passing. Okay, excavation complete is probably good, but I don't have money to put something there. A request from Russia. Weapon fragments. Hell yeah. Only need 12, and I have 54 in storage. I get, oh, I just get an engineer, that's all, but, okay, cool. <laughs> As always, if you guys have any advice, be sure to put it down in the comments below there. I was hoping to get into one fight. This might just be a, you know, we're still, uh, we're still playing this episode. <laughs> I didn't really want to go into lengthy technical details on my, uh, my issue. It's the same exact thing, weapon fragment. Oh, must be because we got this research done. This unlocked uh, the weapon fragment request. Okay, that's that's interesting. I like that. That's giving me more engineers. The council reports uh, coming here. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope I that your be. current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Those damn UFOs in North America. Uh, those really freaking destroyed me. I lost a satellite too. That's probably a pretty big setback, honestly. <sighs> Look at all that money. Okay, I need to buy facilities. I should probably buy a couple of those laser rifles. Let's see. Ooh, so France is not doing good at all. Europe's pretty messed up. United States isn't doing so great either. 
remember, we will be watching. Yeah, I wish you'd do more than watch. Maybe pay me more money. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh yeah, so I was going to build not a workshop, but a different building that counts as a workshop for adjacencies. I can get that workshop bonus still. Let's see, repair bay. All right, this was saying what I needed to actually repair my weapons when the soldiers get wounded and they have like a laser weapon. This will uh, re repair the weapon so I don't lose it, I guess. I think you might lose them anyway sometimes. The foundry sounds really good. Develops new combat items or improved current items in the foundry. Counts as a workshop for adjacency bonuses. See, that also sounds really good. So I think I want to build both of these eventually. The repair bay is actually dirt cheap. Holy crap, it's cheap. Okay, let's get this foundry building and get some room for that uh, repair bay. I forgot how cheap. It almost costs more to excavate this than it does to build the uh, repair bay. Oh, you know what? The workshop? Yeah, I'm not going to build it here, but let's look at it. Reduces item cost by 10% and gives a 10% refund on materials. Multiple workshops have diminishing returns and discounts and refunds cannot exceed 50%. All right, adjacency bonus. Each adjacency counts as half an additional workshop. So, so if I get the repair bay and the foundry, I'll have five percent cheaper items, even without having a single workshop. And I should probably excavate this, to get another laboratory going too. That single laboratory is going to speed up my research by twenty percent. Okay, but really, I need to buy satellites. Satellite. I kind of want to build two satellites. I don't know how many I actually have. I think so. One got shot down. And I'm building a uplink that'll give me access to two more. So I can build one more satellite. You know, I've almost got enough money. I might as well just focus on the satellites. My tech will be cheaper to buy weapons later on anyways. Uh, let's see here, um, I launch a satellite? I don't think I have one. No, I don't. Gray market, that's what I was looking for. I need to sell some stuff. Sell some floater corpses or something, maybe. I guess I'll keep those weapon fragments then. They're worthless to me anyways, more or less. Sell a little bit of this Illyrium. So completing some text will open up more requests, apparently, so that's interesting. There we go. Stuff's actually happening on my base uh, this episode. <laughs> but will it happen fast enough? Because all these orders, they take like forever. It's only like a couple weeks, but freaking. Okay, uh, what the hell? Why do I only have 190. Hey, that's not right. I thought I was gonna make 20. What happened? I must have read it wrong. Oh well. Uh, what was I doing? Build item, satellite. Three more satellites, that'll be freaking awesome. I can actually get North America. Like, the, uh, the interceptor should be repaired as well. Yeah, it, it says not enough uplink capacity, but that's because it's still being built. It'll be before the satellite's done, I think. So even with the more engineers, satellites still take 21 damn days. I don't think those actually change. I think it's just the items you build. Well, technically that is an item I build, so I don't know. Alright, let's see how much more time can pass. I probably won't be able to do any uh, fighting this episode. be nice if I can get someone. So what's this request from Europe? Let's check that out. It's probably like a satellite. Sectoid corpses. Oh, unfortunately I don't have enough. Oh, because none of my missions have had those sectoids. Are they not popping up anymore? That would suck. That's one more scientist I could have gotten. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Abduction site. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Alright, it's moderate activity. Reward, 90 bucks. I might as well do I probably have, uh, I think a few days actually managed to pass. So uh, I'll check it out, but that'll be next episode. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. As always, got any advice? Let me know. 
I usually get back to comments pretty fast. 